In this video, we are going to talk about uh, Microsoft Excel or Spreadsheet Fundamental. Before we can show you how to use a spreadsheet or how to use Microsoft Excel 2016, I must first discuss some basic spreadsheet features, the characteristics and definitions that follow are common to all spreadsheet programs. Uh, we can uh, remember that there was a Lotus 1, 2, 3 spreadsheet and Meg or Quattro Pro. Um, um, all spreadsheets have the same fundamentals. And in this screen, we can see that a spreadsheet uh, has or concept of columns and rows and each spreadsheet consists of alphabetic labels which is uh, called the columns and a numeric label which is called the rows and these uh, two labels and numbers uh, forms our cell or cell address so uh, as you can see that here A we say that A is a, a label, alphabetic label, and 1 is a numeric label, which is consists of my cell address, which is A1. And because spreadsheet has cells, and consists of columns and rows, and the, this concept uh, uh, can be applied to all spreadsheet packages or softwares. And to start using Microsoft Excel, uh, I'm going to type some of the a sample uh, sheet which I'm going to do. I'm going to enter a data. And as I enter, you can do this with me. And this is a very basic uh, spreadsheet which I'm going to do. And I'm going to go to A1 over here, A1, and I'm going to type name. And I'm going to type here in B, quiz, 1, and quiz, 2, and quiz, Three over here, and as I am typing, you can see that my cell address is changing. Here, cell address is this D1, C1, B1, A1. So these are my labels and numbers, which is consists of the uh, column label and the uh, now, uh, the row number, or uh, the row, uh, or numeric label, which is the row. And then I have here quiz 4. Quiz 4. And I'm going to type total. And we are going to learn how to do a total, which is equal sum. And here I'm going to say adding. And here it's going to be another name and I'm going to say here another name and I'm going to say here another name and I'm going to say another name here and I'm going to make a space over here okay which is I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to say insert a row here and I've done here a space if I just right click over here in number two and right click and there is a menu over here and comes and I'm going to uh, insert or delete a row so here I inserted a, a row and I can delete it again and I can insert it again and I'm going to right click over number two and this menu comes here and I'm going to click insert so I'm going to insert a row over here blank row 
and I do the same thing for a column. Like I will just click on the B, select the column B, and then I right click and there is here a menu. And I can say insert or delete a column. So and I'm going to say insert a column. So insert. So here is and I'm going to do it again and I'm going to delete a column. So I'm going to right a click and the menu comes here and then I will click delete. I just want I'm happy with my spreadsheet now and I'm going to enter my name or my number. This is my number. Over here is my place and here and 21 and I'm going to leave my total because I'm going to do a formula here and this I'm going to do another uh, number over here and I'm going to do this here and this is my I'm going to add another name over here and I'm going to do that and I'm going to make this also another num number. These numbers are just a sample and it doesn't have to be real. And just I want to show you how to do the sum and how we can just you know use calculations and spreadsheets. So this is basically what we have. And uh, spreadsheet fundamentals, which is just entering a data, any number you can enter. And uh, I just press the number here, and then here we go. And these are just my numbers, which I'm doing now. And as you can see, any number I enter is just acceptable because it's just a sample. And here, this is now my spreadsheet which I just done at the moment. Now I want to do also an average over here. So this is my average grade. So now I'm going to use average as sum. So these are my average. How can I use average? how can I use sum? So here I want to start a formula. To start a formula in Microsoft Excel I have to use equal and then I have to open a bracket. So I'm going to open a bracket now and I'm going to select I'm going to click on B3 B3 to E3 and I'm going to close my bracket and then I will press enter Okay. Okay. Because I did not write the sum over here, you can see the value comes in here. Now I'm fixing it. So I will say equal sum, and then I'm going to select. And it's a, what is a really the beauty of Microsoft Excel? It just gives you. When you type sum, it gives you a menu over here to select your function, which function you are going to use. I want to use now the sum. I'm going to sum my grades, quiz 1, 2, 3, 4. So I just sum them now from B3 to B to E3. And my formula is as follows, and as you can see it here. So I'm going to enter now. So I got the full the total grade is 85. So, and I'm going to put here grade because I want to know is it B or A or whatever. So I'm going to click on my sum here. I'm going to copy it. The beauty of Microsoft Excel, you can copy down here. So I'm going to click and drag in the corner over here. And this is my beauty of my grades. So these are my sum over here. And 
I've done my total grade. So now here we have B plus, and this here is A, and here is C, and here is B, and here is A. Okay. So this is a B only. And now I want to do my average, so I will say equal, because my letters, I want them to be in the center. So I'm going to select this, and I'm going to use my center indentation, and I'm going to click the center. And here is my sheet over here. You can see that these are my names. And these are my grades, and these are my sum. Now I'm going to do the average in here. So I'm going to click to B9, I'm going to say equal, and then I'm going to type the word average. As I type, and you can see the beauty of my Microsoft Excel, it comes here and tells me you want average. So I'm going to open my bracket, which is shift bracket, and I'm going to select from B3 to B7, I'm going to close my bracket and I'm going to press enter. And this is my average, and then I'm going to click and drag in the corner of my uh, cell. And here, click, 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 drag, drag, drag until the F9. And here is my average. You can see that this is my worksheet now. It's done already. And we learn how to do the sum in here. Sum. Look at the sum. And here my average. This is my average. And we learn that the label is my column. And we learn that the uh, alphabetic uh, labeling is the column and then the numeric label is my row so now this is my uh, sheet the first sheet which I created with Microsoft Excel now I want to save my work so I'm going to click on file save as and then I'm going to choose where I want to save it and I'm going to save it in my document and I'm going to make it grades. Here is my grades. Grades workbook. So I'm going to save. So now it is saved and you can see that this is the name here. This is my name, grades, the name of my sheet. And I can also click on the sheet itself here. Right to click and I will say rename and I'm going to make it grace. So now my workbook called grace and my sheet called grace. So this is my first spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel and I hope le you learn Microsoft Excel now and how to do a very uh, basic and the fundamental of Microsoft Excel with this simple sheet and now I saved it already I can click on the save uh, the desk here picture of the desk and I can press here now we finished our first uh, Microsoft Excel and we've done our uh, uh, first uh, sheet and I hope you learned uh, the fundamental of spreadsheet and cells and uh, columns and rows uh, and next sessions we are going to uh, do more things i hope you enjoy it and you uh, benefit from this video